That was the first night we kissed, that very same night after eating a mysterious concoction of floating seafood and tender vegetables in a mild noodly broth, and walking home through Little Italy, shaking our heads at the maitre d's with their menus offering half-price wine bottles and a romantic atmosphere, past Kenmare or Delancey or whatever, and on to spring again, stopping, heart-pounding with that now-or-never feeling of tight, squirmy anxiety that comes right before you attempt to kiss someone you aren't sure will kiss you back leaning forward, Olivia not resisting, and finally putting my lips to hers right outside the stairs leading down to the sixth train on Spring Street, in that kind of covert train entrance tucked between commercial buildings under a neon glaze of shop lights and street lamps in the brackish air, us both in our raincoats on account of the spotty weather, hoods down, Olivia's neck sleek and shimmering against the raincoat's hood, without a thought about anybody else.